Hello everyone. So today I'll be discussing with you about Nebula Logger, which is getting very popular recently. So starting from installation to making the best use of this excellent product, we'll be discussing in this video. It is going to be super helpful for both Salesforce developers as well as admins. So I'll quickly give you the overview why this product have been introduced and what was the need for that. So if you remember previously, if you wanted to identify the root cause of any functionality which is breaking, we have to go through these boring debug logs. It was a very tedious task and it was very difficult to identify what is the error and where it is being caused. So we have to go through several debug logs to identify that, which uh, actually consumed a lot of time. So now with the introduction of this Nebula Logger application or product, basically, it has been made very easy to identify the cause of any functionality being broken. So I'll help you understand how we can you make use of this Nebula Logger to get rid of this going through those uh, boring debug logs to identify the root cause. So whenever there is any functionality breaking in our system, we will easily identify which is what is causing that uh, break and which component is breaking so that we can quickly go and fix that component. So I'll start with uh, installation of this particular product. So you have to go to this URL. I will provide this link in the description of this video. I will show you in a next uh, in a separate window how we should install this. So in this link, once you go there, you will find a button called install unlocked package in production. And you have to just log in with your credentials. Then you will find an installation page. We'll quickly uh, have a one quick demo to help you understand how we can you make use of this nebula logger as well so this is how it will looks like just click on install and this pro this particular package will be installed in your org which is already there in my other org here is you can see nebula logger is installed here now how we can make use of this so i i have just to save time i have quickly created one trigger here if you see i have an account trigger basically so whenever a new account record is inserted I just want to create a related contact for that. So this logic is very simple. I'm simply iterating over those list of new accounts that have been created and creating one contact record for each account, adding it into a list and then inserting that list of contacts. So you, you see, this is something new that have come up. So under this try, I have just uh, put my statement insert. If there is any error in this statement, basically line number 11, then it will go to catch catch method where we will be logging. So these are predefined methods. If I just type logger dot. So logger dot, it, it will give me all the methods that I can make use of. These are coming from the managed package itself. The, the unlocked package that we have installed. This is not my Apex class that I've created. So if you want to log something like if there if you want to log an error it will create a one log record for you so i'll quickly show you how it looks like so this code simply what it does is if there is any exception at line 11 it will log one error and this is what we have to follow we have to save that log as well so that it gets created into our system uh, i will first show you the positive path when there is no error so no logs will be generated I'll quickly go to one account tab and create one account record. Uh, account positive. Let's name it as positive. So when there is no error in my code. So it will get created and one contact will also be created. Positive contact. And if I see there will be no logs generated here. That means my code ran successfully. This exception does not occur. But if suppose I'll knowingly make a change in such a way that my code will break. So since last name is the mandatory field on account, on contact, I'm just not putting any value into that. So it should fail when trying to insert that contact. It will say that mandatory or required field is missing. I'm not providing any value into last name field so that it deliberately fail at line number 11 and it goes to the catch method where it will log me one error saying uh, which will have the message as well what is the error so i'll again go to account tab and 
create a new account again this i will name it as negative scenario let's save it it will not show me any error here because i have handled that into a try catch block if any error happens inside the try catch it won't show you on the ui rather it will just uh, handle that exception but at the same time we want to log that error somewhere to identify what is the cause so if i just refresh this you will see that one log record would have been created and you will be surprised to see what all information it has it will save a lot of time so there are two log entries first will be the error that we have logged and other will be the generic uh, log error first we will see the error one so you see this is the message whatever message i have provided here ex dot get message will actually display here so insert field first exception on row zero required fields missing so you see last name it is that is the exception message which is displaying over here and it also tells you the line number line 14 this is the line 14 so here i have logged the uh, that logger message and it will uh, it will also give you the glimpse of that code snippet where it was failing this is very uh, surprising for me at least you it, it gives you such so many information at just one place then it will also give you some additional details that this is the component it it has failed originated from this so suppose there are multiple fs classes it will give you the origin so where it started actually there are other information as well like transaction limits how many of circle queries heap size dml statements have been used those will also be shown here so you can see one out of 150 dml statements were used row so there was only one record being trying to create so one out of 10000 these are the limits you already know governor limits it will show you the exact count of all those governor limits how many of them have been used and there are other details as well which you can just play around if there were any apex or uh, http callout or any apex rest uh, integration that happened you can also those information will also be captured here so i found it super helpful then there is another log which gives you the detailed information about this transaction tm is saved event bus and it also publishes some event platform event to capture these so this is how we can actually make use of this logger state logger manage package or unlocked package to generate logs in order to identify and quickly troubleshoot our issues very quickly not only this we can actually generate reports as well like if you want to have a glimpse of all the errors that have occurred today you can simply customize this dashboard to see your all the logs at one place this is also very helpful so this particular example was from the perspective of apex class how you can make use of this logger framework to capture any errors that happens in your apex class or triggers similar thing you can make using flow as well if you have a flow then i'll quickly show you how you can use the same logger framework in your flow so let's have a record trigger flow and this trigger uh, we'll take the same scenario like whenever account is created we want to create a contact and we'll use one create element here want to create a contact select contact here this is very high level uh, scenario that we are taking in real scenario it should be something very realistic so account id equals to triggering record okay here is the triggering record id account id last we will not put first name test contact so we have this one and 
if there is any failure then we will we will make use of that uh, nebula logger framework in under this action element you will find one logging framework here here it is logging just we will use this add log entry all right and here we can provide the information like the name of this flow which is breaking let's say account record trigger flow and this is the log message that we can pass so basically we can fill these details as per our need so i just wanted to show that you can make use of that nebula logger framework in your flows as well 